Ginger farmer Joseph Jato in northern Nigeria is a worried man. His current crop has been hit by a strange disease, which he's struggling to understand. His ginger is turning gray, drying up and dying. Most commercial ginger farmers in the area are facing a similar challenge, and this has seriously affected their yields. We are suffering a lot of loss, especially in this particular part of the world where we produce a lot of ginger, that is the mainstay of our economy, is now nowhere to be found. That the sustainable aspect of it is ruined by this infection. You can see we have abandoned this farm. We are not within it anymore. You can see the grass because we are discouraged. Local scientists have been carrying out tests and say the problem is with the soil. Most diseases of agricultural crops are best managed culturally by rotating uh, the crops on the fields. If you grow one, field, one crop on a particular field year in, year out, there is a build up of the disease in Oklahoma that will uh, get to a level that it explodes. Most farmers don't know what exact type of soil they are farming on, a situation that has led to poor yields and lower quality of harvest. The scientist at the Nigeria-based International Institute for Tropical Agriculture is leading a group of agricultural research bodies in West Africa and the Sahel, seeking to solve the age-old problem. They've introduced digital soil maps that provide a comprehensive understanding of soil health across the region and help farmers make the right call when choosing what to plant and how to take care of their crops. Digital soil mapping is nothing else than a new method to map the soil properties, you know, th that people are interested in. Soil fertility in itself is meaningless until you say what exactly you're talking about. The role of digital soil mapping is nothing else than mapping, presenting, in a way that's digitally accessible so that you can zoom in, zoom out, change over time, the properties of those soils as they are spe spatially defined. The process involves soil sample collection from a particular location of interest. The samples are then brought into this laboratory where they are tested for their nutrient content, acidity, texture and others. In Nigeria, there is a plan by the Minister of Agriculture they call it the, the National Soil Health Card Scheme. And we are, we are working with the Nigerian government on that. So the plan is that farmers will be able to submit a sample, a soil sample from their field. It will be analyzed. They will get the result of nitrogen, phosphor, all those things I've talked about, and a recommendation. If you have this soil, and you want to grow maize, this is what you can do. Or you want to grow rice, this is what you can do. So that's a new initiative from the government of Nigeria that is going to get activated this year, I think. And digital soil mapping is one of the products you need to be able to do that work. The initiative is expected to be a game changer for ginger farmers like Jato and other farmers across West Africa and the Sahel and could help boost crop production. We cannot accept that today, when you go into a farmer's field and the yield is for maize is two tons per hectare, while in other parts of the world they get eight or ten tons. We cannot accept that any longer. Because it's, it is possible to go at least to five, six tons. And because of those low yields, Nigeria and other countries spend a lot of forex to import food. It's not acceptable. Farmers in the region are eagerly waiting for the process to be fully rolled out. But scientists have warned that it could take another five years before the full benefits of the initiative are felt. Deji Badimasi, CGTN, Lagos, Nigeria.